Hello, Floss Tube. Uh, Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches, uh, here with my update number 305. Today is October 28th, 2023. Happy almost Halloween. Uh, it'll be Halloween in a couple of days. Um, so this is Janabot Cross Stitch, for those of you who might be wondering. And so we are going to talk about, I don't know, I guess it'll be a little bit long because it's the end of October, beginning of November, kind of uh, information. And uh, so we're going to get to that, sort of make some adjustments, make a little noise. Um, first of all, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what's new in our Etsy shop for Three Sisters Creative, and I'll have the... The link to that uh, in the description box below um, but I want to go ahead and get uh, some of these things out of the way um, one thing that's in our little if it's not already it'll be in our description and that is a project bag this little aliens and this is a glow-in-the-dark fabric I believe if we the little charm here is a little oopsie I can turn it around the right way. Yeah. It's a little alien. And there's aliens and spaceships on this bag. See? It would help if I had the handle separated. And the inside is just black fat. Handles and trim, and of course, there's a matching notions pouch. This also has a little alien on it and the zipper. And like I said, it's a uh, glow in the dark fabric. So, there's those. And then the other thing that'll be in the Etsy shop soon, it's not in quite right away, but. Are these little guys and these you can use them either as scissor fobs or keychains or whatever um, they are on on this baker's twine this is red and white one on this side and there's a little a little snowman there's this little face and it's got little buttons I can't get him turned around the right way ah, here he is and then this is just a plain white I'm looking at it backwards here. There you go. And then a little bead and disc like a hat. Yeah. And so there's one with a red and white baker's twine. And there's one with a green and white. So these little guys uh, will be in the Etsy shop soon if they're... Uh, they're not already in there by the time you see this. So uh, that's our little Etsy shop update for Three Sisters Creative. And again, the, the link will be in the description box below. Okay, so um, I last week I showed uh, the Piano Cat. Um, I had I hit hit the six days uh i worked on i don't know six maybe seven days um this month so i hit that goal i believe i, I had hit it by the yeah by the time uh i did my update last week and of course i hit i did the uh, parade of elephants i finished that um a couple weeks ago so um and i didn't do any more on the little brown bat um which was one of my new starts but I did do a little bit more on my other new start, this Black Cat Singing, which is the number two in the Black Cat Season Bell Pull. So this is almost all done, except this fence at the bottom. And I'll be ready to do another border underneath there. So I just have to finish the border across here. I've done the little music notes and the moon and stars and the words here and the whiskers and the face of the cat there. 
So all that's left, I said, like I said, is the fence down here, and then uh, I'll be ready to put another border in here. So yeah, that's coming along very nicely. I just love that design. This is by Lindy Stitches, um, and it's on the called for fabric with the call for th uh, threads, which are all Weeks Dye Works. I bought, oh, I had bought the thread pack, and I bought the fabric. This is uh, by Grace Notes Fabrics, I believe. Yes, Grace Notes Fabrics. Uh, Blackberry Latte is the color. And this is 32 count. Yeah, so that's that's great. It's coming along very nicely. So, um, among my my WIPGO goals were two FFOs, and I I showed my Biscornu disaster <laughs> uh, uh, fail last week. I it had come out like I don't know puckered and weird and everything. So I had I actually unsewed the whole thing, and I did do on one on the top part. I went over the back stitching with another thread so that. I had basically two threads over the back stitching, and I was going to do the the back of the bushgunyu, and I just like thought, oh, it was very tedious. It was very difficult because partly I think because it's like apparently eighteen count uh, fabric, and so it was very the stitches were very tiny, and then I just got tired of doing of <laughs> doing it. Um, so this is uh, by Tiny Modernist, the Western bushgunyu. Her bushgunyu looks so pretty. <laughs> and um but i i did it uh it's on 18 count and i don't know what kind of fabric it is um but uh it's an ada and there's cat hair um but i had these little purple flower buttons and they kind of you know match this uh it's a little bit big for the swar you it, you know kind of you know disappears that end of the saguaros but there's the back yeah and so so i like i said i i i, I went over the back stitching on one side and that helped me a little bit uh, when i was sewing it together i just took my time and went a little more carefully so that you know it matched up a little better and it, it's still i i don't know if i somehow if it's because of the the, the way it's, I don't know, it somehow didn't match up right. I don't know exactly, but I, it matched up, I think, very well in, in terms of how it went together. So, yeah. So, yay, that's, that's good. That's, it's a finish and it's a FFO, I mean. So then the other one was the Bunny Sampler uh, by Linda Lauten, I can't remember, say her name, Lautenschlager of Chessie and me and so there's the the picture the her the pictures are very small uh and not always uh easy to see but this one has a few specialty stitches there's some satin stitching in here i think the alphabet this is the smaller letters are over one as i recall and there's uh what's called a spider rose and i don't remember if the if the leaves i think the leaves yeah i think the leaves are like algerian eyelets or whatever the 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 ones the the where you stitch all the way around <laughs> yeah so um and then i did uh put my initials here using these alphabet letters and then 20 22 I put on there I and I mm, probably could have like spaced this a little bit differently but you know I didn't so it looks a little crowded but um but here's the little heart I don't know what that is maybe I, I maybe I didn't do it but this spider rose and the way this works is it's it's really nice and like sort of three-dimensional is that you you stitch I guess it's five spokes uh, starting, you know, coming off of this little thing here. You do five spokes and then you weave the thread in and out around and around and around and around. 
until you've got this the spider rose. It's really, really pretty. It comes out really pretty. <laughs> the bunny is a little stripy. Uh, this is, um, these are all uh, specialty threads, I think, you know, fancy floss. And so I, the way I did the bunny is somehow I, I did it kind of oddly. And it, it, it came out kind of very stripey this way. But it looks good. So um, I did go ahead and lace this. This is, I used um, mat board. I, I bought a big piece of mat board. Um, I have some foam core and I have like basic um, poster board type board and um, things like that. And uh, I, I really like lacing things, even if I'm going to glue it down on, on a surface like this. Um, because especially with something like I, I did those, those other uh, items uh, uh, last month and this one that have a, a very square border that's very unforgiving if you, you know, uh, like I'm gluing it down and get it in, you know, in the wrong place or whatever. And I feel like with lacing, you can adjust it a little more <clears throat> to, uh, to make it come out right. I'm not really good at the corners yet. I'm, I'm still working on that, but you know, it, it, it feels like it, it, uh, is a little, gives me a little more control over making this really square. And I don't feel as nervous about, you know, committing to it as I would if I were gluing it and I had to sort of, you know, because, you know, you can't really see what you're doing exactly. And, you know, so, but then I got this little uh, wooden paddle thing. Um, it's basically like a, like a miniature charcuterie board, I think. I got it like at Target in the dollar spot, I think, is where it came from. Um, but it uh, it's really a really nice size for this little, uh, little piece. So I just, like I said, I, I laced it onto this mat board and then glued it on there. And I debated about whether to put uh, like some kind of trim or something, but I, I, um, and I probably have like a, some, a little piece of chenille that would match this, this, uh, these, you know, red colors, this, this one. But I feel like, like, because it has that border, um, it doesn't really need the, the trim. I like, kind of like that, so. So anyway, that's my bunny sampler by Tessie and me. So that is, that takes care of all my October things. I want to do some more on the, the black cat singing. I want to finish that and get the border ready for next month because I intend to do another one next month. But in the meantime, um, you know, I'm not a really, uh, I don't really stitch a whole lot of Halloween stuff. Um, but when I was at the attic a few weeks ago, beginning of the month, or whenever it was I went, uh, recently, um, when I was checking out, they had these little kits. I showed this, uh, um, a few weeks ago when I got it. Um, this little, uh, this is by, um, Praiseworthy Stitches, Little Witch Ornament Kit, and it was there, uh, by, at the checkout counter. So it, and it's a, I think it's a, it's a real, really small, uh, uh, little kit, but it came with this, uh, round disc and the rick rack and mounting board. So it came with this orange rick rack and this mounting board and all the threads, which are basically just dim C threads. And like I said, this, and this, uh, little black ornament disc. So it came with all this stuff, this little piece of black ribbon to make a bow for the bottom. And so I just, um, last night, yesterday, so yeah, last night, whatever, I started it. And so I, I almost finished. I have to finish this kitty. And then there's a few um, French knots, which I will do as colonial knots. And uh, and a little bit of backstitching, her, her 
It looks like she's frowning here. I, I, I think I want to sort of, you know, turn the corners up because I want her to be smiling. Um, and I actually, I, I might, I was thinking about like putting a, uh, like back stitching a, a little wand or something in her hand because I feel like her hand is just kind of up here doing nothing. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm working on the little, little black cat. And I've done, I think, everything else except the back stitching this buckle. And there's a couple of buttons in her and this on her face. And then a couple of these bats here are backstitched. But, you know, and I don't know if I'll get it FFO'd for this Halloween because it's, you know, in a couple of days. But, you know, it'll be ready for an FFO for next week, next year. But, yeah, so that's Praiseworthy Stitches Little Witch Kit ornament. I mean, yeah. Kit. So, like I said, that the there's the witch, but her face is empty <laughs> and I'm not quite finished with a cat yet so but that's fun that was I it was I had it sitting there you know I was like looking at it and I want to start that I want to start that I finally did so then um uh I have the things that are due for November and let me organize myself a little bit here So my, the numbers that were called were number three and number eight, which automatically then, um, you know, the, the last two numbers are for December. Um, number 12 and number 20 uh, are the, the last ones that are obviously a, that's left, what's left for December. So for number three, I had uh, the Peacock, is that the name of it? Yeah, just Peacock, uh, by Design Works. This is N Nicola Gregory is the designer for uh, Design Works. And so this was a kit. It comes with uh, the, all the threads here. It's beautiful, purples and blues and greens. Really pretty Peacock. And it came with white Ada. And I dyed the Ada. Um, so like kind of a pinky purpley color and I did a center start and went down so this is all the the you know feathers in the bird's tail um and since I'm a color completist that's you know it's, a lot of it is just all one you know uh, one color whatever so um there's that did I have another one here yeah um, yeah, so, um, my goal again is, is six days for this, so maybe I can make some progress in that. Um, yeah, so that's a, it doesn't really look like much, but that's the peacock. So hopefully, like I said, this, you know, like I said, I, I think I, 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 you know, yeah, I did a, you can see these three dots and then, you know, the outlines of some of those flowers. So that's one, uh, that's my number three. And then my number eight um, is this one on the balcony. And my sister designed this uh, based on a, a picture um, that I had taken of my cats on the balcony. I don't know if I have... I don't know if I have that picture. Um, let me look quick. The picture of my cats. I used to have it on here handy. But um, I had taken a picture, uh, uh, this picture of my two cats on the balcony of my apartment in Little Rock. It was just one evening, um, really uh, nice, uh, peaceful evening. And I had taken a picture of them. And then Eve uh, turned that into a, a cross stitch for me. And... Um, 
one other place. Mm. But, um, Markers. Sorry, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> um. I don't guess I have it handy somewhere I can, you know, access it quickly. I know I have the picture of somewhere, but, you know. Yeah, so. But anyway, the, the two of them are sitting uh, very beautifully on this uh, balcony of my, of my apartment. And, um. It's one of my favorite pictures of them. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't have it very handy. But, um, anyway, so she um, made it into a, uh, a cross-stitch design for me. Puck is sitting on the my dining room table, a little table that I had in my apartment, and Snug is out there on the balcony, and there's my little chair. And so uh, she did that for me, and I started it, but I, you know, I haven't made much progress. It goes like this. And I just basically started Puck's outline on the table there. And I haven't gotten any further than that. So I'm hoping, again, my goal is six days, so I'm hoping that I can, you know, make some good progress on that. So that's my number eight. And then the FFOs I have, um, is one of them is, then my number three is this Santa. Um, I've had this for a long time, since 90 something. Um, it was in a magazine. This is from a magazine and I don't remember, I don't, I thought I had the magazine page, you know, handy. And if I do, I can't find it. Um, I don't, you know, I, I, I had the magazine. I don't, I don't know if I took the page out or if I have the, the, just the whole magazine. I think I have the whole magazine, but I'm not sure. Um, but I don't have it amongst my other magazines. At least I couldn't, I couldn't, I, you know, I, I looked through them all, you know, Christmas stuff and, and I didn't see it. I couldn't find it. And then um, I thought, well, I, you know, I bought some finishing items back in the day a long time ago, long, long time ago. And I thought I knew where they were, but I don't have them. So it, there's a couple of the places I might look, but I don't know. But anyway, so I had had this languishing and, and I was very much afraid of some of the details in there. Um until I started watching Floss Tube, and I decided, you know, since I had, at that time, I didn't have a whole lot of stash like I do now, and, um, and I went ahead and, you know, pulled out some of these things that I had been, had been hanging on to for a long time, and I went ahead and finished this, and as you can see, it says 2018 on it, um, and I had actually, um, from the time of the magazine until when I thought I was going to finish it, uh, I think the, 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 on the, in the magazine, the date was like, you know, 1993 or something like that. And so I had updated it to 95 or something because I thought, oh, you know, I'll, I'm going to finish it then. And then I didn't finish it, of course. And so then it was 2018 before I finished it. But I, uh, you know, 
like Santa's eyes, I'm not real happy with the, the uh, what do you call it, French Nazi. Looks like somebody punched him in the eyes. Um, uh, and I think uh, this is either uh, a, a chronic or petite treasure buried. Probably petite treasure buried. I'm not sure. But there's, you know, like there's some something sparkly up here. And this is either chronic or... Um, like that DMC metallic thread. I don't know what what exactly I used finally, but the 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 little star and this uh, runner line here on on the sleigh um, are in this sparkly thread, and the same thing with this uh, sparkly uh, on the Christmas tree. And then I, there's some. I think I put beads in here instead of. I don't know if they were supposed to be French knots or or whatever they were supposed to be, but. I used some beads there, and then there's this ribbon um, that are supposed to be his reins, and then, um, yeah, I think these are individual X's, these little, you know, the stars up there, and so, yeah, so I, I'm thinking of doing a, like an ornament finish or something like that, I'm, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with that. To finish it um, so I don't know the designer at you know I and I, I don't remember the exact name um, I think it's something like midnight ride or something like that yeah you know, like I said it's a it's a million years old my hair is plus old looking funny thing. and then my other uh, FFO uh, for November uh, number eight is chocolate bunnies um, and this is more chocolate bunnies. Um, this is hands-on design. Sorry, the glare there. Life needs more chocolate bunnies. She did this design. Oh, golly. Do I have the date on here? 2019. Yeah. And it came with these little buttons. And I think this came with a, a sulky... Um, yeah, a sulky, uh, thread pack that you could buy with it. Um, but, uh, I think I bought this at the attic and I think they did not have the sulky pack there at the time. So, but I just used, um, I think I just used DMC, uh, threads. So there's chocolate bunnies. This, this is like folded, you know. <laughs> I think it goes over over the over here a couple of stitches but so yeah so life needs more chocolate bunnies so there's those little those little buttons for their tails and it might be I may have used fancy floss just uh, because those carrots are very variegated yeah I don't know I don't know, but, um, but yeah, yeah, so I, I think I have, um, a, a big round, um, uh, thing, it's unpainted, but it has little bunnies all around it, and so if this fits in there, I might, I might use it for that, um, I haven't decided yet, but that is my November, uh, with go step and then and then my for my new starts I'll probably do the next one uh, the November year in the woods and the next uh, uh, black cat season um, for my two new starts for November and that leaves December and um, on December's numbers are by default uh, number 12 and number 20 um, so my uh, my whips are the Voyage of Discovery, which is the Columbus, the ships, the Nina and the Pinta and the Santa Maria. Um, and then um, Elephant Biscorn, there's my picture. Thank you. My sister brought me that picture of Pocket Snug in the balcony at my apartment. 
So you can see it, of course, it's very ugly with the cars in the background because the parking lot was, you know, on the back of my apartment. But you took that out. So it took some of the ugly details out. And, but it's really pretty. And the cat's sitting on the thing at dusk. So that was what, yeah, was made into the, the cross stitch, the on the balcony cross stitch. It took you that long to find it. <laughs> so, um, uh, but like I said, the, for December, uh, Voyage of Discovery is, is one of them, and an, the Elephant Bishkoinu, this is, um, it's also by Tiny Modernist. And I don't know how much of a start I had on that, um, but we'll see. And then I have uh, Gathering Berries, which is an Ink Circles, is it Ink Circles? Tracy Horn, I think last last um, last week I said something other than Tracy Horn, Horn Horner. I I called her something else. Tracy Tracy Horner of Ink Circles. Um, but so yeah, so I'll be doing Gathering Berries uh, in December, and then Easter Preparation, which is a Twin Peak Primitives uh, design. Um, that I've I've had finished for a long, for a, a while. Um, I'll be working on that. I if I'm following that. Um, we'll see how that goes. But um, so those are my December ones coming up, and I'm hoping I'm thinking about doing something. Um, I was debating whether to do something cross stitchy for Christmas for you know various people or you know doing something else and you know it, I don't really have a whole lot of time to do anything um, so I don't know I, I, I might not do cross stitch kind of gift things um, part of it is I feel like I, I feel bad about like you know people going oh thanks yeah, thanks a lot, you know, because, you know, people aren't really aren't that into cross stitch the way I am. So, um, and if I can't find a way to make, make something relevant to, um, their situation, I don't want to just sort of impose things. I had, I had an aunt, uh, who, um, when we were kids, you know, very often gave us like coloring books when we were, you know, when we were very young. And it took a while to sort of like get out of that phase. We were older when we were still getting coloring books from this aunt, you know, and, and, you know, I appreciate the thought and everything, but, you know, after a while you're like, oh, I got of those. And, and, you know, you don't want to make them feel bad for giving you things, but at the same time you're like, oh, well, okay. What am I gonna do with this? And and so I don't want to be that person when it comes to you know giving cross stitch gifts. But um, so you know, um, but I also don't have like a million dollars to spend on on gifts. So I you know I, I'm gonna be looking at what what uh, what there is to do that will be appreciated and you know that sort of thing. But, um, oh, and then uh, I, I just have a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of, of inconsequential haul. But just, um, I, uh, I went to Joanne's uh, today because, like I said, I'm getting, I'm more inclined to do lacing, uh, you know, rather than like gluing a piece to some, to mat board or whatever. To doing a little bit of lacing it depending on the on the picture but um but so i had some thread i had like basically like carpet thread i guess that i bought at hobby lobby and um and i i've used all that up and so um and i have like i had this weird old um very heavy thread that i've used you know uh since i ran out of that uh carpet thread and so I wanted to go ahead and get some some more uh, heavy thread like that. Um, 
And so my younger sister, we filmed this morning, uh, late this morning, and so she was going to run an errand to Joanne's uh, afterward. So I tagged along with her, and I bought a couple of spools of this uh, heavier thread. There's one brown and one black. It doesn't really matter what color because they're, they're going to be in the used for lacing. So, But this is a button and craft thread. So I was like trying to feel like the ends of the thread to feel some, you know, they're heavy enough. And so this is more like the thread that, that I had from Hobby Lobby, the, the carpet thread or whatever, because it's not real, real heavy, but it's heavier than regular sewing thread. So I got a couple of spools of that. And and Joann's was having, uh, I think their their DMC was on sale for like, uh, like 40 three cents or something like that instead of 53 cents like it usually is and um and i i saw that sign and i thought oh you know i don't have a list of dmc threads that i need or anything like that even like you know dmc threads that are required for you know something that i'm working on because i have you know i have almost every thread there is anyway i just don't know where they all are because some of them are in you know other projects or whatever but you know, usually there's you know one or two threads that um, that I you know could use or whatever. But so I thought, well, you know, I'll just get white and black because you know you can always use white and black. But all of the bins of three ten, and they have like four or five bins of that there at Joanne's, and they were empty. And um, they there was a lot of the sort of blank white blank uh, threads. Um, and then they had one bin of B5200, which is what I usually use. So I, I got a couple of these. <laughs> and it's funny, I had a, a Joann's card in my wallet that I thought, you know, it's got to have, you know, a few cents left on it because, um, uh, you know, otherwise, why would I still have it? And now that I think about it, because I used it, I went to use it and it, and it declined. So I don't know now, now that I think about it if that meant that there was nothing left on it or if it declined because I, tr you know, tried to use it for the whole amount, which was only like $5 or something like that. But I thought, you know, it, it may have had just a few pennies on it or something less than a dollar. Um, otherwise, why would I still have had it and not have thrown it away? But, um, but, uh, you know, but it, it declined. So I, I either, I, I assume that there was nothing left on it, but I don't know. But anyways, that was the one reason why I went to Joanne's because I thought, well, you know, I might as well use that card. Um, but if, you know, uh, I was able to use their little sale coupon on the on the threads um, because they were just regular price, whatever. So yeah. Anyway, it was it was uh, it was fun. Um, <laughs> and one little unrelated note: the Diamondbacks are in the World Series. Um, so it's, it's going to be, you know, kind of crazy here downtown um, for the next, uh, you know, few days or whatever um, as the World Series plays out. Uh, the Diamondbacks lost game one, uh, but game two was uh, started, you know, this, this evening uh, at, I don't know, five o'clock, I guess, uh, our time here in Phoenix. Um, so yeah, people are, are watching that downtown. Um, all the, the you know bars are having you know watch parties or whatever. So it's kind of crazy. Um, uh, so I think that's about it. All I have, and I'll probably think of something else that I meant to mention. Um, so go check out our Etsy shop. There's those uh, project bags and little Santa teaching scissor fob, whatever things are, if they're not in there already, they will be in there soon. Um, but go and check that out and check out, you know, whatever else we have for sale there. Um, project bags, scissor fobs, needle minders. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's, that's all I, I, I like I said, I think I'm going to work. Um, I want to finish that little witch uh, kit, ornament kit, and the uh, black cat singing so that I'm ready to go 
uh, in November with uh, the uh, next uh, Black Cat Season pattern number three, uh, which I don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> but um, that and the next Year in the Woods uh, by Cottage Garden Sampling, that the next one, uh, I have that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of miffed that I, I forgot that I hadn't done the uh, July, August, and September uh, uh, animals. Um, but, uh, but you know, yeah, that's, it's always... I haven't finished any of them anyway, so, you know, um, I, I won't have time to stitch them at, at some point. Um, and I still am, am, am thinking about what uh, I'm going to do for Whipgo for next year. I uh, I, I rewatched that. Um, I watched another one and rewatched the uh, uh, Just Keep Stitching uh, episode because I was th I thought she was picking. She had like 24 that she was picking, and I thought. Is that for Whipco? You know, I, I assume maybe she was working on or what she was going to use for Whipco. But I realized, of course, Whipco is 25 um, uh, squares. And she was picking 24. And what it was is she was doing 24 starts in 2024. And I thought, that's kind of what I'm doing with my with my new starts uh, for Whipco. You know, doing a new start for every square. And, uh, and, you know, along with my whips and, and FFOs. So, so if I keep, if I keep that up, I, again, we'll have 25 new starts. Um, so even though it's 2024, I will have at least 24 new starts plus the extra one, um, so I might uh, go ahead and, and go along. She, she's doing like, a, uh, there's a hashtag for that. So I might go ahead and and and, uh, and do that as well. Kind of play along with that as, as I do my new start. I haven't, I haven't really been posting anything really. Uh, you know, once in a while I remember to like to post, oh yeah, I have a finish. Um, and so my online presence, uh, you know, I, I've been doing floss tubes. But I haven't really done a whole lot of in terms of like Facebook and Instagram and whatever, posting a lot of things. I've gotten very kind of lazy about about uh, you know posting my my finishes and my whips and my whatever, um, and um, I still you know get you know updates and stuff on the different groups that I'm in. But I just have been very like I said very lazy about about posting uh, my progress whatever. But, um, but, you know, I'm still, like I said, I'm still plugging away and still doing stuff. So, um, I just haven't been chronicling it as much on, on the social media as before, as I was before. But, you know, still doing it. Um, uh, also just one note on the Just Keep Stitching. If you had, uh, were part of our 400, 400 subscriber giveaway um, you want to check that out on, uh, it's going to go live on Sunday. We filmed it today, but it'll go live on Sunday. And, and, um, the people that, uh, signed up to win something for, uh, our, our 400 subscriber giveaway, those things were pulled today, announced today on the, on the videos that we made. So uh, it'll air on Sunday. And so if you're a winner, uh, you know, you want to check and check that out and send your address in and all that. So, so that we can get you your, your prizes. If you're part of that giveaway, if you, if you don't watch that channel, you just watch my channel. Thank you. Um, uh, those of you who, who got the giveaways, let me know. Thank you very much. You're, it's, uh, it's nice to know that you, you got your, your, prices um i think that's it um for this week next week it'll be november 
and we'll see where I'm at and what which one I start with and what I'm doing and all that. Um, so I think next week is the 4th of November. So I'll, I will have had four days on whatever I'm working on. And um, yeah, so I will see you all next week. And until then, just, you know, happy stitching. And thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.